Tony, were there any warning signs you saw as you prepared for this game to make you think the team could play like this? Yeah, well, I mean, it's a quick turnaround from obviously the um, the Wake game. Uh, we struggled offensively against Wake, um, but but played real hard defensively, and obviously our crowd uh, ignited us and knew how challenging this place is to play and um, how good Virginia Tech is at home and their their experience and their talent. Um, but um, you know, again, we just I don't know, maybe it was like 12 to 14 or whatever it was, and then they just took off and. Um, they were very. They guarded us very well. They were very physical. We didn't handle that physicality well, um, and then um, we were behind in every way, shape, and form on the defensive end. So they thoroughly outplayed us, and that's you know that's that's a tough way to go down. Um, <clears throat> but um, you know when you when you look at it and you say, look, we, we're on a fine line, and if we're not if we're not right. Um, Separation can occur. That's happened to us this year a few times. Um, it happened to us. You know, you'd hope at this stage um, that it wouldn't, but it did. And it's a credit to how well Virginia Tech played, but also that uh, we we didn't have the right the right uh, the right mindset or the ability to to withstand their runs to try to climb back in. And that's where you know your soundness is really challenged. And you know you got you got to compete. It was physical and. Um, the aggressor went, they were the aggressors, and they certainly dominated us in pretty much all areas. Tony, you mentioned that, that competition. Isaac said he felt like the response to them taking the lead was, was soft. Um, that's how he described it. Dante kind of agreed. He was standing there. Um, did you see that? Did you think that the competition, the fire, wasn't where it needed to be, aside from the execution issues? Yeah, I mean, you know, you it's it's one thing to, to try hard, and everyone gives effort and tries hard, but when you're in games like this, in this setting, and a team is clicking, you got to have enough wherewithal to try to somehow stop it. With And smarts comes into play with that, too, you know, in terms of you just got to be as airtight as you can. And if they're making a lot of tough shots and doing things, which they made a share of those, um, and you're not breaking down, so be it. But, um, you know, again, of course the film will show it, but um, but we better – it's one game, but um, that was a step backwards, and that was unfortunate. And uh, now we regroup and, and get ready to play, obviously, uh, well, the team that's leading our league right now. Uh, Kid was not a factor in the game in Charlottesville. They went to him on the first possession. Yeah. Did you feel that they would try to kind of establish him tonight? Yeah, no, I think their interior didn't have uh, the kind of games they wanted against us, and we played, um, you know, solid against them and beat them. So you know, um, just like when we got beat and played some teams that are, again, you're going you're gonna to go into that place and they're going to be as ready as they can. And I think they really established in the front court um, with their physicality and their play around the rim and, uh, we were behind. Um, they established it right away, and much I, I don't even know this. Everybody had a good stat line against us, of course, tonight. But um, that was that was certainly noticeable, and our our lack of experience showed. Tony, you guys typically are so secure with the ball. Twelve turnovers today. How much of that was what they were doing? How much of that was maybe some carelessness? No, nah, both end. Again, they said they're aggressive. Their hands were quick. They were playing hard defensively. Uh, played with that kind of desperation that. That tenacity that's required, and again, effort's one thing, and and being you know tough, tough, and and really getting after it with the soundness is another. And um, we didn't have that tonight, but um, had some trouble, you know, missed some passes, some finishes, and then that thing separated, and then our um, our struggle to score really highlight was highlighted, and then when the defense goes, then it all it all went. <coughs> Tony. <coughs> Sorry, you guys hit uh, 10 three-pointers against Florida State. Since then, teams have really ramped up their, not just Isaac, but their perimeter defense against you guys. What are they doing to, to avoid open looks? Yeah. How can you counter that? They're playing Isaac really hard and Reese really hard, and they're really kind of zoning off some of the other guys. Um, and you're trying to find ways to get it to them. But um, at times, that's uh, you know they're really kind of helping off on those guys. And, and we've seen that before. Um, but even if the quality of our screens weren't good tonight to get those guys some more bumps and playing. But I think you're, you're seeing um, Reese and Isaac, when they're out there getting blanketed it pretty hard, and those guys are kind of helping off and then getting back quick and uh, making certain things challenging. Doug, one last one. I haven't seen the team as much as some of the others, but it seems like Harris is, is doing more. It seemed like he was very active out there. You know, I thought if there's one thing that – um, I saw it was 
you know, he, he really tried to, to compete. He really tried to get after the ball, uh, irregardless of the, the score or anything. He just guarded hard and played hard. And, you know, he's, he's been injured and he's, he's coming back. And I thought he, he gave us, um, um, he showed a competitive heart. And that was important in that. And I said that after the game. Um, and so, um, you know, I guess that's, that's one of the bright spots. And, and hopefully that he'll keep feeling better and we can capitalize on that because we're going to need it. He can guard the ball. He can touch the paint. And, um, <clears throat> you know, we need, to, we need to collectively find some of that. Sorry, Tony, one more. Just about Carolina, you've matched up with Baycott so many times, but the matchup with Kidd tonight doesn't go well in the paint. How big a concern is Armando, and, and what are the things that he's gotten better at in his career? Yeah, well, he's experienced. You could see the experience of those guys. Um, yeah, I mean, right now, you know, it's, you, you asked me fresh off of getting beat like that, everything's a concern. You know, you look at it, it really is. It's, all right, who are we? What are we going to – how are we going to respond to this? Now we have the right kind of character and the right kind of young men, so that's good, but – but you have to be honest and say that that got away from us, and at this stage you hoped it wouldn't. But um, but it's not the end of the story at all. It's like okay, let's tighten some things up. The front line again. Jordan had been playing and kind of giving us some physicality. Um, I think we we early were outplayed in the front line. You know they were just the aggressor ahead of us. So we got to try to tighten that up. And, and um, he's. One of the best because he's seen every kind of defense. He can score inside and pass, and they got other great players. But uh, let me let me get through tonight, and then we can talk about that later. <laughs>